Hello, this is Abyssal Rocket, and this is my first Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today, we're, I'm going to show you how to make a flying flying. Yeah, you know. So first, you have to make it one nine twenty over one eighty. You'll see why you need this later. So after you get this footage, it's like this. Okay, so you have to duplicate it three times. One, oh yeah, two times, and then name one. Rename it. Just rename this fly. Rename this run and rename this BG that for background. So just turn these layers off first and find the spot where nothing is in there, only this part. So you have to go to background, then go to time. And then go freeze frame, which makes it a background, makes it a still image. So, what you had to do is find the point where you're running in. Well, since mine is a long one, I had to hit go to composition settings and then make it a little bigger. Hundred. <laughs> I don't care how big it is. So and since this is turned off, turn these back on. You find a frame where you're about to And mine is this, so you had to cut this to here and cut this to here. And to see if it's correct, we could do this, and then it will be correct. So after that's done. You had to go to fly, you had to go to time, and you had to freeze the frame. So once you've done that, you go to the pen tool, and then cut, it, cut him out, your guy. So, I'll cut him out. So, once I'm done, I'll go. Okay, so I cut him out. And now, what you have to do is uh, click fly and then press P which makes the position and then just click the time thingy and then go to a little bit next and then just so you had to Something's wrong. So, what you have 
have to do it. Position yet time frame. That's why it doesn't work. So you have to keyframe the position and then right next you pull it way up and then oh so it'll be like this. That little buffer up. Yeah, so it'll look like that, but it's yet not finished. So I want to show you how I got that blurry effect. So the blurry effect happen it's when you click this and the fly. So when you do that, it'll. And if you don't already have this, press F4 when you do fly. And you do this, and then, see that? It gets it all blurry, so it looks like you're really going up. When it it'll look like this now. So th it, that looks really realistic. So in my videos, I, uh, like, made it wiggle a little. See, it's on a tripod, but it's wiggling. So, you press fly, and then press shift, and press b background. You all put, um, I forgot what that's called. P, yeah. And then, you alt-click it. Alt. Press alt and click time frame. And you do that with every one. So you see these texts. Put wiggle parentheses a uh, five comma twenty. And then you put the same thing so what I just do is control C control V control V so every uh, what this does it gives it a little wiggle fe feature yeah but you could see it's you're going off like it's so what you had to do sorry so what you had to do is yeah so you see the wiggle future it's will be having a little thing that's going off and so so you had to make it a big you had to go composition and composition settings for all of them. So, composition, composition settings. And then you had to make it smaller. 1, 2, 80 by 7, 20. And then it'll make it smaller and better. And you can see how for the buffer. Oh, you got my point. It looks good. I'll just, I know it buffers a lot.
I don't know why. I'll just so once you're done like that, you have to trim it to workspace. You want you don't want to trim it too like around here because it'll cut the footage so you just trim it around here trim comp to workplace and then I'll show you this is fast forward so pretty much it and if you want to add sound effects you can go to you can just find it online and put it in I don't really know how to do that I know how to do that but I it'll take a lot of time to find this flying sound effect so So once it's rendered, I'll show you the final thing. Or probably, yeah, once it's rendered, I'll show you the final thing. And here's a tip. If you don't know how to render it in HD, what you have to do is composition, pre-render. And then go here, videos for Windows. No. It has to be QuickTime Movie. Put it audio output if you have it. Then format options. It has to be Photo JPEG. Then you go to Render Settings. You see, you see this. It has to be Best Quality Resolution Full, one two eighty by seven twenty. Uh, and and this is just to show where to render it. So once it's done rendering, I'll show you the final thing. Okay, it's done rendering and I'll open file up. Wait a little bit, it's a quick time. So be a little slow. Just pray. Be a little slow because it's or I'm capturing it on All right. Oh, you saw that? So, well, that is the preview. So, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.